I couldn't see you, but I heard you as you came in. I heard the assistant say, make some extra room. And then it started. Lord, 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 my knees, my knees, my knees, my knees. You moaned as someone showed you into the curtained off area next to mine. You moaned as she helped you onto the table. You weren't worried about your volume. You were in the middle of a conversation. Lord, 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 don't you tell me that. My knees, my knees, my knees, my knees. I started coming for physical therapy two weeks ago for my feet because I had a baby. I uh, didn't rest enough in the first few weeks after giving birth, apparently. I shouldn't have been going up and down the stairs as much as I was, apparently. Apparently, I'd been walking around with two sprained ankles and didn't even fucking know it. So there I was, lying there, thinking how astounding my threshold for pain is. Thinking, surely someone should make a note of this somewhere. Surely this means something, that I could be walking around like this. That women walk around like this without making a sound and then here you are with your pain and your pain is loud it needs extra room and the very nice pt comes in and starts to treat you and you let out a howl it's okay miss alma it's okay but you keep howling lord my knees my knees my knees well, what will you have for lunch, Ms. Alma, he says, trying to distract you, but you will not stop. I lock eyes with the woman who's working on my feet, and I know that we're both smiling at each other under our masks. Smiling as our hearts break open and roll under the curtain towards you. The first time I said a real prayer was the night my daughter was born. I didn't sleep that night. I prayed on my back in the dark. I prayed for her to keep breathing. And as I listened to you, I thought, did those knees you got down on to pray for your whole life do you in? Or did they just get tired of walking around without making a sound? thought so much in the time that you were next to me but most of all I had this fantasy that I would start to moan with you I would moan as loud as I could that you would hear that the neighbor to your right was listening and that your volume is astounding I thought what if I started a, a moan wave and the whole office eventually joined in and what if the people walking outside on Atlantic Avenue heard us and they joined in? And what if the sheer will of our collective moan was prayer enough that your knees would give up and let out a sigh, knowing that they were finally heard? But I didn't do it. I didn't moan. And eventually, you fell asleep and your moaning turned to snoring and they let you sleep. So I closed my eyes and I prayed on my back in the dark. I prayed for you to keep breathing. And if by some chance you are seeing this, or even if you're not and someone else is seeing this and just puts a thought of you in their head for a moment, I'm gonna moan with you now. And I hope who's watching this moans too. Because moaning is a form of prayer. And your volume is astounding. Oh.